on Friday in uh, Yawundi. Thank you so much, Televias on my Media Prime, for listening to the major headlines being read to you. We are back as usual to continue with our discussions in the uh, studio. And of course, we are receiving Amadou Tante, who is the executive uh, uh, director of Conscience African, an NGO operating in uh, the littoral and northwest regions of uh, Cameroon. Amadou Tante, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Prime Television. Uh, I don't know if we'll come back to our uh, phone crisis as usual because I have something important. Yeah, I message I thought course, I could uh, we'll okay. come back to that. Well, maybe I'll keep my message for. for <laughs> no, we'll come back to that. Welcome okay. once again. Thank you. So, how is the human, the human rights situation in Cameroon? Mm. In Angufu, well, uh, let me say the situation remains very tense as we have, we have noticed. But you can bear with me that on recent we have had so many uh, abuses that have been perpetrated by the separatist fighters on uh, and on all civilians, especially for, for alleging that they have violated the 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 imposed lockdown that was imposed by the separatists on their own part. Uh, my message this morning was particularly to the and local administrators in the northwest and southwest region because uh, I have reliably informed that some of the administrators on the ground are insisting that children must wear uniform before they go to school. That if they don't wear uniform, means that they are pay allegiance to the separatists, and in that case, they will not go to school because I don't see anything wrong with these students if they are said that they are not wearing uniform the problem here is that there's a problem we know oh, we are all aware that there's a problem ongoing problem in this region and if the government wants these people to wear their uniform normally and go to the government to make sure that they solve the problem rather than for so an, an, to intim intimidating the children where, that they must wearing, wear uniform before they go to school wearing what kind of uniform to go to what school because most of the government schools yes. in those interior and mm -hmm. other parts that yes. Uh, some pockets of resistances are mm. still noticed. Yes. They don't allow children, they don't even allow the operation of primary school, of government uh, uh, schools. The case of Belo, where two head teachers were uh, slaughtered mm. for just attending a preparatory meeting for back to school. Yeah, so absolutely. which schools are they talking about for the children to put no, on? It, it is very clear that the separatists made it on their own, on their own part said that uh, they want only private school, mission schools, and uh, community schools to go on in this region. That they don't want these children to go to, to go to government school. And this is because there's a problem. Because had it been there were no problem as such, I don't think there would have been there would be some, some anybody anywhere. So they insisting now that the uniforms should be worn to go to those co missions and, uh, <laughs> and and private schools or i don't get it I'm yeah of course that's what the uh, these are saying that these people should go to school they must go to school be it the government school or private school or whichever school they are attending they have to put on their uniform that go going without the uniform is a uh, proof that they are legends they are, they are accepting what separatists are saying or they are paying allegiance to the separatists which is those are the problems problem that we, are, we often face when such, such a situation is down because when it's a situation as such ongoing it is, they often say that it's the civilians that will pay they, they will, will pay the highest price of all what is happening and this all these things when they start they will start dragging now the separatists say that you, will have, you don't have to wear uniform. The government of, on the house part are saying that you have to wear uniform. And remember last time in the, the children, the children, the children went to school. Last thing was last year. They brought uh, the, the, the camions and other military vehicles and went to the, the private school where the children went to attend classes. They were carrying them from those private school to go and keep them. But the government was just <laughs> So when the children went to private school, they were, the, the government went with their, the military went with their vehicles and were carrying, transporting these people back from those private school back to, go, to government school. So these things are all made dramas. This then we know all what is happening. At least it's a place of the government to do everything possible to end the crisis. If this crisis ends today, we will we'll rest assured that these children will go to school normally. All what is happening on the ground is good. There's a problem. And when there's a problem, we acknowledge that there's a problem and look for possible ways of resolving this problem rather than to, than, than march these civilians what all these things we see that they, they, are, they, are, they take lockdown they are this and at the end we see that civilians are killed and all the like and those are the vulnerable people when when the other people are holding guns on their hand but the vulnerable people the future who are obviously the civilians are the one paying the highest price people are dying every kind of things is happening there is the other day they wrote uh, that bamali was a uh, and we say water swept away the, the bridge, and the NGO came here. I was claiming that uh, the man who is doing the going <laughs> the bridge, he was he paid money to separatists, and all these things happened. All this what happened, and all this type of complaint will not take us anywhere. At least we they should tell the truth, they go tell the government the truth, what is happening on the ground, because they, they made us understood that the situation, the situation was under control, that things had returned back to normal. But unfortunately, the, what the recent happening has proven they're wrong. Even in the South region, in Buya and Kumbawe, for some time now, places have been very silent. What has happened there has proven them wrong. That all what the noise they were making were only to maybe to to continue gain their their power within the rank of the government at least the government they should tell the government the truth so that the government can see a way of resolving problems rather than than disturbing the civilians on the ground because when they will start now dragging as such very soon tomorrow we hear that the the military has gone there and asked students that they must wait in from and the services have come there and said that they will not wait in from at the end i realize that at the end you hear that the school was burned down or a, 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 a student or a child was a uh, or people was killed in school i will be very shameful for this uh, for our country at least we want everything to go on normal no, everybody we are all advocating for back to school we want the children to go to school we don't even care whether they put on uniform or not we want this student to go 
go to school and learn as uh, like, uh, like others there are other peers in, uh, in the in the francophone part of the country and this school they can go on now and do it as especially as the separatists accepted that at least they should go to school even though giving their condition at least that's the first step for that's the first way forward where initially they never even accepted that they should even go to school at all but if like, by now they have accepted that the government should see how they can do because whatsoever is happening whether it's all the civilians are would are killed and all that, they go is the responsibility of the government of cameroon because it is the place of the government of cameroon to make sure that all so they guarantee the protection of children whether in political instability during political instability or during a conflict like what is going on in the northern and south region or when, when, when there is no problem in the country is left on the government of cameroon who have signed both national and international laws to guarantee that the protection of civilians in all circumstances so the government will ensure that the children go to school protected and i believe that the best way of doing this thing is by doing everything possible, possible to end the war first but if the war doesn't come to an end at least the situation will remain uh, very complicated on the ground okay it will remain very complicated